yes okay yeah traders uh welcome to the weekend analysis it is another day and another time so as usual i'm going to share analysis on gold so this will be for next week now from 22nd of july to 26th of july so it is just a five days market move for the coming week on gold spot so in my analysis i'll be pointing out the trend line the support and resistance the chart patterns and also i read the candlestick patterns and the candlestick structures so basically in confluence of all these factors i am able to provide a probable direction for the coming week and the analysis will be in four different time frames now a top-down analysis from the monthly time frame then i'll be going going down to four hour time frame and in four hour time frame is where i provide the probable direction so make sure that you watch this uh recording until the end so i'm in a monthly time frame so quickly i can highlight the key things in monthly time frame and now a july candle we have seen now it opened with a stronger bullish momentum and now like in the last two days of the week so there was a bearish momentum created so it created rejection from the upside so now because we still have like 10 days for this month candle to close so we cannot conclude that maybe sellers are going to continue pushing or buyers will come in and push price to the upside so anything can happen in monthly time frame but all in all we expect that this level has got sellers because we see prices pushing down uh at the level where the previous two candlesticks were closed so that is the monthly time frame then quickly we can see the highlights in weekly time frame then in weekly time frame we see the same thing we see prices uh now price a, a candle uh, i mean a weekly candlestick successively closed within a level so we see it closed within the level so this is the clear indicator of sellers taking control of price direction at this level and also we see a clear rejection from the upside so this kind of candlestick pattern is one of the indicator of a possible uh, turn in a trend but we will see what we, what is the structure of the next candle if the next candle will continue pushing to the downside so we can expect a further push to the downside uh, from this level so sellers are taking control of price at the current market structure then i can go straight to the daily time frame there are a lot of things to share from a daily time frame so in daily time frame now we see uh we had a clear five wave pushed the upside or the count to the upside so price has already completed the fifth wave to the upside and at the same time we see the fifth wave completed at the level so we can see now we had this touch the first touch the second touch and this was the third touch now so with three touches at the same level price now has successively turned to the downside so we can expect now this level to be a very stronger stronger level for price to change the direction of the trend at this particular time frame so basically what i can say here is price stand here and now this current move to the downside is correction of this swing now we had this swing to the upside a five to the upside so the current five wave move to the downside is just a correction of this swing and we see price has moved deeply so it is nearly 50 percent of this push to the upside so basically uh we can expect now further continuation to the downside or the push to the upside so in four hour time frame now we can see clearly what is expected so if you do the fib you will find that now this is not yet 50 percent but it is close to 50 percent uh to the downside so let us see now in four hour time frame what are the key highlights okay so in four hour time frame now we see clear five wave to the upside the same thing we see the level to the upside so this move to the downside it is a serious downside but basically it is not clear if it is just a complete abc to the downside or it is just a one one two three four five to the upside but basically i can provide a projection based on two alternatives so we see the horizontal support now we see the horizontal support this level here so price is now moving at this level and at the same place at the same place now this level is a 2400 which was a major support since previously so now what we can expect from this level uh on opening of the market so price may open so on opening of the market price may open straight to the upside but when this upward movement is created so we can now look at the building structure of this move to the upside so if it will be a three wave 
swing to the upside up to the levels of now we can roughly take the level of 2450 so it may be a three wave swing to the upside up to the level of 2450 so if it will be a three wave swing to the upside so we'll expect the a second push to the downside so this will be the first push and then we'll see the second push to the downside now if this will move in a corrective mode but if price will start with an impassive push to the upside so we'd expect now this correction are already completed because it is around 2400 so price will continue pushing to the upside in a, in in, a, in in an impassive move then it will move even further uh it will move even further now beyond this swing high so that is the possibility so you'll be taking buys so you'll take buy in a short term up to this level uh, around 2450 and then from there we'll be watching for the possibility of continuation to the upside or a push to the downside so that is the primary projection but alternatively we can see price continuation then boom to the upside so this also can happen so that is the projection for next week Make sure that you watch analysis from other traders and also do your own analysis uh, in order to have conference on um, the probable direction for the coming week. So thank you and have a powerful weekend.